Welcome back to another video from me. My name is Darkson and today I want to share you my secret about compositing in Blender and the Rich Resolve. Yeah, smoking on his eyes, swear really got me fried. I've been through a lot of swear, helps me clear my mind. We put some work on the streets, we in overdrive. Saving 30% just to pay the fines. Only hit my phone if you need a 35. We're making business moves. Before I show you guys my compositing tab, you need one thing to know. The most stuff I learned it by by the OG Pepper, aka Peppy. Thank you so so much for all this stuff. If you want to see his work, the link is below in the description. And now it's time to show you my compositing tab. I'm just joking, guys. That's my compositing yeah. tab. Yeah, Alright guys, I know that's a lot you see here, but trust me, this is easy and simple and I will tell you what every stuff here is doing and yeah, we're gonna start here, that's the denoise setup. With the denoise setup, you can see here, you can denoise every layer in Blender and this makes happen, you can render in 128 samples in Full HD. All right, so that's the denoise setup. Basically, you denoise every layer and you need less samples. And I'm gonna show you now how this will look like. On the left side, you can see the image with the noise setup. And on the right side, you can see without the noise setup. And when we zoom into the Mercedes logo, you actually can see that the picture with the noise setup is more clean and crispy than to the picture without the noise setup. It's looking like noisy and not high quality, but it's actually not bad. But this is a still render guys so when you start rendering an animation you can better see the difference if you don't know how to uncheck all the stuff here you just go on the view layer and check all the stuff here you see so you can start with the denoise setup why you should use the denoise setup i mean you can save a lot of time to render in less samples if you don't have a good pc it's made for you try it out it's a great idea to make good renders with less samples to save time and make the client happy the next part of the compositing tab is my lens dirt setup with this you get dirt on your lens and this makes your render actually more realistic here you can see how the lens dirt is it's looking like it's only working on emission parts or on reflections it's like when the light is going into the camera you actually see the lens dirt on darker parts like the background or on places that don't have light you don't see the lens dirt and this is what a render makes very realistic so my settings of the lens dirt setups are this is this is the controller of the whole setup here you can control if you want it bright or not so bright if you want it strong or not so strong and the four glare nodes basically the same this is actually a controller too if you want it strong, you use four glare nodes. If you don't want it so strong, you can just want one glare node or two. The glare nodes are always on the same settings. It's default for glow, medium, threshold 1.0 and size on 9. Yeah, everything is coming together into multiply nodes. If you don't have PNGs of lens dirt you can go to google and search for lens dirt overlays you will find a lot of them everything it's coming together to the add node like on the add node is the lens dirt setup and the denoise setup and then it's following by a glare node for the overall image here i have a lens distortion node on 0.02 to make it just nice and look cool for now i have some little tips for davinci resolve how to make some renders more cool because the compositing tab it's not all you have to make editing color grading all the stuff adding some effects on the video you know so i will show you now what you can do after the compositing by the way if you want to give the light of the car a nice flare you can render out the emission part of the light if you go on this little check mark here you can go to render pass click on it and go to emission you see only the emission parts of the car and you can export the image and drag and drop the image as overlay on your normal video if you change the mode to screen and put a lens reflection on it you can change it to strix make this effect stronger and just change the color of the light to white 
and voila you get a nice flare just on the light from the car and not overall that's a little tip i learned it for one year and it carried every of my projects because i learned it on this way to render out in passes but this is not the only thing i'm doing in davinci resolve for sure so let's keep going into more i'm going to search it to it and drag and drop it to the normal video you see it's very strong you can make the effect a bit lower like here bam and here you can see it's it's just a little bit and for now maybe you can add another lens reflection on it like we have on the overlay and make make it to i don't know maybe two streaks too and give it maybe another color maybe give it a yeah, a little bit of blue and get this yeah maybe not too strong just a little bit of blue perfect this is perfect for me and yeah now it's time for color grading i will show you a small tip to color grade an image so for the first note i'm doing the image a bit brighter because it's it's a little bit too dark for me for the second note i'm doing the jane a little bit in the green and on the third note, I'm doing the offset a little bit to the blue. And voila, we get a nice cinematic look. And for the last note, we bump up the colors a bit. Make it not too strong. And voila, guys, this is color grading, compositing. Easy and simple, guys. Trust me, this is very easy and simple. And you're done. You're done. All right, guys, if you want a tutorial how to correctly color grade an image in DaVinci Resolve, please let me know in the comments. I can do a tutorial for this. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I really want to make it. I hope you learned a lot of this video. And if you want to see more, please let me know in the comments. And yeah, thank you for watching and bye bye, guys.